moved here in 1986. Yep, it's amazing to live in one place so long. Well, we chose to live here because we wanted to be out in the country and we like the peace and quiet. Pretty amazing that we could live so primitive all of these years. It's just hard to believe, but it was just our life. We haven't been able to drink water here for years, well, ever. We've been here 34 years on this road, and we pumped out of the river the entire 34 years. And the power and water line come down and go over these logs down here, and the pump is in a bucket. And then I have a quarter mile of buried water line and power line through the pasture, goes under the highway out here, to another pump, which runs it another quarter mile up to a tank, water tank, and then it's gravity fed. It's pushing air all the way from the river pump. So our water pressure isn't real good. <laughs> in fact, it's starting to trickle nowadays. I drive a 40 mile round trip to a spring and I get 40 or 50 gallons of water in gallon jugs. And that's how we cook and drink. And uh, then we just take our showers and do laundry with the river. That's it's been the way it is. I'm getting too old for this stuff. <laughs> There's uh, approximately 1.5 million people that are living without access to safe drinking water in their homes. They were either promised uh, uh, that uh, public water supply lines would be brought out to their rural areas, or they've just been living without water at all. I heard about the Gleason family from the Waterwell Trust, which is our qualifying agent in this project. Um, we jumped on this project right away because not only did we have a distributor partner in the area, but this sounded like a great opportunity for our Watermark Initiative as well. I call Susan quite a bit myself to let her know what our situation was. She was so good, such a nice lady. She uh, sent paperwork and we filled it out and sent it back and she approved us. And to hear those words, because we wouldn't have been able to do it. It just wouldn't have happened. The success with this Watermark project is the partnership between the Waterwell Trust as well as our partnership with the Chris Long Foundation. No matter where you're working, whether it's East Africa or the United States, a quality partner is very important. Xylem has the drillers, the relationships, the products, helping us identify families uh, on a consistent basis, that, and they do a lot of the hands-on coordination. We're extremely thankful to our local distributor partner, Mitchell Lewis and Staver, as well as the well driller, McMillan Water Systems. They provided the critical boots on the ground and volunteered their time and service to complete this project. So we pride ourselves in being uh, family oriented, but also really being engaged in our local communities. Um, and I think we've found a partner that has those same values uh, in Goulds. And when Goulds let us know about the Watermark project, it was something that piqued our interest right away. So in this area, well drilling is pretty difficult. Uh, the formations are a dense uh, clay stone. There's not a lot of not a lot of water out here. The aquifers are are very few and far between, and so uh, we had a real tough time locating some some water out here. Well, we wondered if it was going to happen, if they would find water, you know, and, and it was stressful, you know. They they told us that they'd do whatever it takes, but. Like my husband said, if there's no water, there's no water. And so we were, we were concerned that it wasn't going to happen. I kind of knew what was here. And I thought, well, there's only one more option. And that's clear down the corner of the property, down on the property line. And uh, when they got to 300 feet and didn't find anything, I, I kind of thought maybe that was the end of it. So we were starting to think maybe they're going to give up. There it is. We were just very surprised and very grateful. Oh my goodness. There's water coming out of our ground. It's wonderful to have a well because 
If something happens to me, Lana will have a well. So she'll be all right. Well, it'll be wonderful to be able to drink water out of the tap and to cook and do dishes and with clean water and not have to worry about that. Goulds is to be commended for not just speaking uh, to philanthropy and community, but also actively engaging and participating. Uh, you know, it's, it's a unique uh, position that Goulds has. I'd like to thank everybody who's helped on this project. Uh, Margaret, Susan, Mitchell Lewis Staber, and of course, the Water Boys. <laughs> really appreciate them too. When it comes to the Gleasons, I just think people should realize how, how much of a basic human right and a dignity this is and something that nobody in this country or anywhere should have to deal with. We're just thankful for everything. It's been so much. It's way beyond our capabilities. So it wouldn't have happened. It never would have happened. Never would have happened. Everyone deserves water, it's a natural resource. Stories like the Gleason's absolutely touch our heart. This is a testament to our partnership with the Waterwell Trust and Waterboys that we can help solve water together. <laughs>